It's a key, uh, quick video to tell you a few key points about identity matrices. All right. The identity matrix acts just like one in normal algebra. A divided by A is one. Now with matrices, we can't divide. We multiply them by the inverse. But A inverse times A is I, or A times A inverse is also I. So the I is just like a one in normal algebra. What does it look like in its matrix? Well, if you got a two by two, it's one, zero, zero, one. Three by three is one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. And four by four, etc. In, in general terms, the leading diagonal is ones, everything else is zeros. Okay, now let's just see how this works. Here's a matrix, there's its inverse, right? Using the inverse formula. You can do that. You can see how I've switched them around, made them negative, divided by that determinant. Okay, so there's A and A inverse. Well, A to inverse times A, row times column, row times column, row times column, row times column. When you work all the them out, you get 1001. One. Pause the video and have a look at that more closely if you need to. And just to show it's not a fluke, well, a times A inverse, the same way, row times column, row times column, row times column, row times column, gives you 1001 zero, zero, one as well. And here's another example to prove that it still works. Okay, B inverse times B gives you 1001. Zero, zero, one. So that's inverses. Now there are some matrices that are like inverses. And all they do is scale and multiply. Here's an example. All right, if I say negative 2i, that's negative 2, 0, 0, negative 2, times it by my matrix, I get a ma new matrix that's where everything's just doubled. So it's just negative 2a. Doubled and negative. Okay, or well here, a times 4i, so 4i is 4, 0, 0, 4. It's just like everything's just all the elements here are just times by 4. So as long as you see a number in the leading diagonal and zeros in the other diagonal, it's just going to be the same as multiplying by a scalar. So that's all you need to know about identity matrices. They act just like a 1 in normal algebra, and they have 1s on the diagonal, leading diagonal, and zeros everywhere else. Good luck.